Good evening, class of 2020 cosmetology and barbering graduates from East Mississippi Community College. Congratulations, you've made it to the final day of your class. Welcome parents, welcome friends. Thank you for being here to support your, your graduates as they have embarked upon a very difficult school year. This will forever be known as the COVID-19 school year. However, you made it and for that you are to be congratulated. We are extremely happy for you and proud that you are gonna go out and embark on a career in cosmetology and barbering. Very, very needed careers with, uh, with certainly some health implications that I'm, that I'm sure that we've learned, but we learned even more about during this school year. We're extremely happy for you. We are grateful you're always part of the East Mississippi Community College family. Thank you. Now we'd ask that everyone bow their head for prayer. So today I'm here to do the prayer for the graduating class of 2020 of East Mississippi Cosmetology Department and for the school in its entirety. Dear Lord, we thank you today for just the opportunity to finish this journey and to start another journey. We honor you and thank you for giving us life, health, and strength. We honor our president, we honor Mr. Long, and everyone that had a hand in the journey of the students in the cosmetology department and the school in its entirety. We pray for both campuses, for direction to be given to our president during this time. We thank you for keeping us and for watching over us, and we ask that you would continue to guide them as they go from this journey to their next journey. Give them wisdom, direction, understanding, revelation, most of all, help them to understand that there's a path that you have for their life. And in that path, you know the direction that you have for them and you know the thoughts that you think is toward them. In Jeremiah 29 and 11, it says, For I know the thoughts and the plan that I think is toward you, saith the Lord. And if he created us, he has a plan for our life. And we ask you for that plan for our life and for the plan for our friends and our loved ones. Again, we thank you for keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger, seen and unseen, and for the things that you're gonna do in our life as we go to the next stage. We thank you, we honor you, and we give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. I would like to start out by congratulating the EMCC Cosmetology and Barbering students of 2019 and 20. I know this has been a hard year for all of us, but C.S. Lewis gave a quote. You can't go back and change the beginning but you can start where you are and change the ending. Today, what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters that are to be compared to what lies within you. Today, you start a new chapter in your life. I challenge each one of you to follow your passion and you will find your purpose. John F. Kennedy made a statement that says, every accomplishment starts with a try. Truly, during this COVID, 19 outbreak, you have tried and found yourself successful because anything is possible when you have a path, a plan, and a desire to act. Martin Luther King Jr. made this statement, I have a dream. Today, cosmetology and barbering students, you all have a dream and it's left up to you to make this dream come true. In closing, I would like once again to congratulate you. You did it. Class of 2020. I would like to share this scripture with you found in Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Remember you keep moving forward, opening new doors, and because you are courageous and you are going to make the rest of your life the best part of your life. Thank you and may God bless you. Dr. Austin Rooks, based on a recommendation of the faculty of the Cosmetology and Barbering Program here at East Mississippi Community College. I present to you the candidates for the certificates for the cosmetology program and the barbering program. Based on recommendation of the faculty, they have met the requirements for graduation. Today we'd like to honor our graduates from the cosmetology and barbering programs for 2020 from East Mississippi Community College. Let's start by honoring the cosmetology graduates for the class of 2020. Sydney Bishop. Jayla Kalmies.
Layla Cockrell. Madison Davis. Haley Evans. Carolyn Henderson. Demarcus Henley. Shatandra Johnson. Takira Malone. Destiny Matthews. Euqualia Mosley. Kiara Sanders. Tyler Sanders. Hannah Scott. Mary Hannah Sullivan. Mallory Wilson. Teresa Johnson Rogers. And now let's honor our Barbering Technology graduates for the class of 2020. To Darius Barr. Justin Brewer. Quantavius Gathings. Destiny Jefferson White. Hazel Owens. Richard Rice. Javius Sparks. Dwayne Walker. Demarcus Williams. Elizabeth Williamson.
Good day, my name is Michael Busby. I'm the Associate Dean for the Cosmetology and, and uh, Barbering programs here at MCC. Uh, and I'm coming to you today, number one, to congratulate you for graduating uh, for the 2020 fall, I'm sorry, summer semester for Cosmetology and Barbering. Uh, while I'm here, I wanna thank you uh, for your adapting to the COVID-19 situation. We've all had to kind of make changes, do different things, so I commend you for that. Uh, as well. And lastly, I want to apologize. Uh, I would love to give you guys a graduation ceremony and let you have that in a normal sense, but due to the safety rules in our campus, we just can't do that. So I want to offer this virtual graduation on, on behalf of the MCC. Uh, as we're here, I want to make three points that will help you for the future. Uh, uh, Y'all have done a great job, but now it's time to go on to your next stage in, in life, and that's usually going to be working in a salon with a barber chair or a cosmetology chair. So the first point I want to make is always be professional, okay? Uh, you know, things like time management skills, uh, being on time to your job, showing up on time with your clients, uh, the business management skills, uh, treating everyone the same, knowing how to do money, uh, take money, exchange money, those type things. Uh, be a hard worker at your job always, and be honest to your job. Uh, you'll have so many clients coming in, so that, that honest, hardworking thing is always very, very important to clients. Uh, I've never found a job where customer service is not super important. Uh, in, in, in education, my, my, my customers are students, my fellow employees, staff and faculty, and likewise in your job as a cosmetologist and a barber, you're going to also have that same customer service responsibility. So uh, building that client base and treating those clients the right way is probably the most important thing I can get you to do, and that's part of professionalism. So think about that you know, as you go forward. Uh, so the first point, professionalism, very important. Point number two, or point number two, is have a serving servant heart in how you work. And again, customer service is my first point here. Uh, you know, building that client base again is so very important. Uh, treat that person like they belong in your salon when they come in. Give them that respect they deserve, and they'll, they'll keep coming back and back and back to you to build up that client base for you. Uh, <clears throat> you know, in your job as a as a barber and a cosmetologist, or maybe you're doing nails, whatever it may be, you're going to do other things. You'll also be a counselor. You'll listen to people. You may be their soundboard. They may come in and vent to you that day and need to see you for much more than just getting their hair cut or hair done. So think about that when they come in. You know, you may not be in the mood always to do that, but I really think that's an important part uh, of what you do. And certainly today, with all the problems we have in society, that may become more and more of a thing that you're going to be tasked with out there. Uh, be, a, be friendly and approachable in all that you do. Uh, because again, uh, that person is going to come to you and, and want to come back and you want them to come back. Uh, you know, I myself, I'll tell you, I'll pay more money for someone who treats me well as a customer when I come in anywhere. So whether it be a restaurant, a barber shop, or even a retail shop, if they treat me right, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be willing to pay you whatever it is for the most part you charge. So if you're a competitor down the road charging four bucks uh, less than you, treat those folks right and they're going to come back to you, I think, regardless of what you do uh, with that price, you come in there. And just one, one last thing about the serving heart. You know, it may be late Friday afternoon and, and a, a lady comes in, a man comes in and needs a haircut, needs to see you and you're like, man, I really don't want to do this. It has been a long day. But if you take that person and treat them right at 530, guess what? They'll be back every time as well once you do that. So just think of these things as you build that business base up uh, when you have your shop. My third point I want to talk about today and, and the final point is be a lifelong learner. Today you've graduated from EMCC and that's a big accomplishment and I commend you on that. But you know what? It's really not enough. You gotta keep learning and keep going on with what you do. Uh, the hairstyle you're using today might mean nothing a year from now. So to learn about more hairstyles and how to cut different types of hair and different cuts is super important. Uh, there's many ways to do this. Come back to EMCC, take some classes here. Uh, getting business classes to go with your cosmetology and barbering classes is a great way to manage your own business. So that's a way to do some things. Uh, do some industry visits, do some online research, social media, talking with your peers. There's many ways to keep learning that might not really be going to class. So just find ways to keep learning about your craft will make you really good at what you do and make you grow as a business person and a, and a cosmetologist and barber uh, really daily, I think. Uh, and the last thing I'll say about that is Diversify what you know. The more you know about everything, the more you're going to succeed. So, you know, be able to take all types of clients that come in and serve those folks well. And I think your business will keep growing as you go forward. Uh, I'm going to close today with a little quick poem that I've read before about a cosmetologist. This does talk more about a female worker, but I think it does certainly uh, 
lend itself to anyone, the males included, who are working in barbershops and cutting hair. So I'm going to read that now. This is from an unknown author as well. It's entitled, What is a Hairdresser? This person is a, com is com a complexity dedicated to beautifying hair. He or she blends it, bleaches it, tints it, tones it, washes, waves, teases it, and combs it. They cut it, condition it, curl it, rinse it, shape it, straighten it, pin it, and spray it, which naturally makes this person beautiful and attractive. The person is a business person, a professional, a mother, father, wife, daughter, son, or sister, and a friend to their clients. At one time or other, her hair may have been red, brown, black, or blonde, and maybe all these colors at once. They can always squeeze in just one more customer, but constantly is about a half and a half behind because of booking schedule. Uh, the lunch hour is about eight minutes long, and sometimes is spent meeting with salesmen about products. Their lunch typically uh, is very short, and they have coffee and donuts, sometimes is all they'll have. They work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and they attend beauty shows and learn on Sundays. To the customers, she is a psychiatrist, psychologist, psychoanalyst, an advisor, a consultant, a marriage counselor, a fashion coordinator, and, a just, and just plainly a friend. In the salon, they are a stylist, the finance wizard, the cleaning person, the stock clerk, the receptionist, the purchasing agent, and really are very, very tired. Uh, to, to her or him, hairdressing is not just a job, it's an emotion. Although she, she or he has paid for the services, the greatest reward comes when the customer turns in the chair, looks around and says, I love my hair. I think each of you will be all these things to your clients, so believe in yourself and you will do great and wonderful things in life. So again, I want to offer congratulations today for what you've done in graduating from cosmetology and barbering, and I wish you good luck in the future.